I fell in love with Nepal as a 20 year old exchange student. So we did a project for Bayalpada Hospital, uh, which is in the Acham region of uh, far western Nepal. We got connected uh, to the hospital through, uh, through a friend who's the director of the hospital. And I was with him on a prior trip to Nepal. And I lived there for eight or nine months and just had the most incredible, intense experiences from meeting monks to climbing mountains and just kind of fell in love with the people and the culture. Solar is useful across the world and it can be applied in so many different ways. And when it came to thinking about developing uh, a project uh, in Nepal, I you know, thought about contacting Gone Power. Jordan wrote an email to me stating that he wants to have some kind of knowledge exchange program between Sunbridge Solar and Gone Power. The outcome of the knowledge exchange, I think there were two main pieces. One of them, was this idea of having an exchange program where uh, one of the employees from Gone Power uh, come and stay with us here so we can kind of show them what we do. And then kind of a follow-up for that is to send one installer for a few weeks over there to work with them and to get some real you know, off-grid experience um, working over in Nepal. The second was this idea of a nanogrid project, which was something that really came from Gone Power. So Gampower has developed one of the business models called NanoGrid. There will be a solar power system installed in middle of the village and there will be a distribution line, right? And electricity will be supplied to those households for basic lighting. So what makes the NanoGrid important, and I would say also, is most of the people that will put that in effect uh, have no uh, power source. So we are trying to use this NanoGrid model in urban region of Kathmandu as well. So the power situation in Kailali is that they have about 8 to 10 hours of grid power a day. The rest of the time there's, there's no grid power. Without grid power they don't have access to clean water. Uh, the solar provided a backup um, you know, power source for their water pump to provide that, you know, that clean water when the grid is down. Nepal has been suffering with uh, this very, I mean, blackouts, a lot of blackouts, a lot of load sharings. My first thoughts after hearing the news about the earthquake were about the people that we, we know there. Um, you know, just thinking about Gong Power, um, their office, and uh, Kishore and Jivan people that we had worked with while we were out there, you know, wondering if they were okay. And, you know, luckily we were able to find out quickly on Facebook that they were all okay. And that their family and friends were okay as well. So after the earthquake, like, um, there are several uh, buildings in Kathmandu that has broken down. And in the villages, like many villages have just been swept away. And uh, so after the earthquake, like there are several um, cracks in the in the hills and then now it's like monsoon season in Nepal and everyone is like in the fear that more landslides would happen this year and like more villages would be swept away by landslides. Uh, I went to my Rotary Club and they looked to me there as the Nepal guy so they were asking questions they want to know you know they wanted to know what was going on if everyone um, you know, that we had contact with, with the Dooley Kelly Rotary Club were, were safe and if the project, um, the solar project at a hospital that we'd worked on in the past was, was undamaged. Um, so they were all concerned. Uh, the condition of the solar water pumping project that we worked on um, was okay. The status, you know, that we received from Jeepman was that it was undamaged. Um, the building was still standing. Uh, the infrastructure was there, and there was no there was no issue with it. Luckily, it was far enough from the epicenter uh, that they didn't really receive uh, very strong damaging quakes in that region. Like now, people are thinking of building more like hospital proof house, and then they have realized they need some open space within their neighborhood for emergency reasons. The collaboration with Gone Power has changed in that our priorities have shifted a little bit. Um, prior to the earthquake, 
we were thinking about working with them on a nano grid solar project and now our priorities have more shifted to kind of immediate relief work um, and rebuilding. We can also start with uh, like a small investment in some villages to work as a pilot project and to prove that this model works to rebuild because the the rebuilding process would go for like I think uh, from 5 to 10 years there are lots of things to rebuild